person you mentioned more than once uh, in the programs I listen to, a uh, person that you uh, clearly admire, Fred Hampton came on campus more than once because Chicago is not very far from Madison. And, um, and he made an effort really to organize support for the party, support for the program of the party, and uh, thanks also to uh, what he did. A lot of us went to Chicago during the, the, the trial of the Chicago 7, where he spoke a number of times outside the courtroom. And uh, so when on December 4th, word came that he had been uh, assassinated, uh, for a number of us who had, uh, I'm not, who had had political uh, contact with him was a big deal. It was a big, big deal. And um, it, I think, is in consequence of that that I dropped out of the university and moved to New York to work on the Panther 21 trial. Um, and, and really working on the Panther 21 trial was the start of a long history to work around uh, the issue of political prisoners. In particular, uh, in, for a number of years, uh, Afro black political prisoners. Because then uh, after Assad and Sundiata uh, uh, were arrested on the Jersey Turnpike and Zayt Shakur was killed, a group was formed called Friends of Assad and Sundiata. And uh, given that I had met Zaid during the trial of the Panther 21, because he was very important to the political organizing, the one outside the courtroom, went on outside the courtroom. Um, I joined that group and we started explicitly as white people talk, starting to talk to other white people about why the Black Liberation Army, why uh, we needed to be in solidarity. What did it say about what was the United States? Um, and out of that work, uh, a whole set of relationship developed, but also a whole set of, um, of uh, thinking about white settler colonialism, about uh, our responsibility as white people, not based on being good or being, but what was our responsibility if we were going to be, um, what was it called at the time, mother country radicals. And <laughs> that's an old term, right? <laughs> but this yeah, is what yeah. it was. Yes. And, um, and uh, it's for my personal development, I think for everyone uh, who was involved in the group, it was a very important uh, period because it really laid the foundation for uh, looking at the U.S. in a fundamentally different ways. Mm -hmm. And if it was, if I can add something, I, I followed what happened after George Floyd really intensely, as much as I could from being on the other side of the Atlantic. But some of the things that emerged post George Floyd reminded me very much of that period then because some of the same issues reemerged with a lot of force and a lot of more, it seemed to me from the, as an outside observer, a lot more um, audience and acceptance of certain concepts that, that in the 70s was much harder to to um, to find that kind of wide broad support, I don't know if that's true. I was seemed uh, in the heat of the response uh, to the various uh, murders that have gone went on in that period and continue to go on today. Um, if that's taken root, but it did remind me of some of those uh, struggles in some ways.